a fantastic afternoon here at South Garda Karting. We've raced three times. We've got another cracking final coming your way in just a moment for OK Junior. For the second week in a row, Dimitri Martviev took pole position after also qualifying fastest last week for the Champions Cup. Rene Lammers, though, from the Netherlands, will start from pole position. 36 carts are making their way down onto the grid as they do so. Let's check out some of the highlights so far this week here at South Garda Karting. Three three nine is the Paralin of Rene Lamas, son of the 1988 Le Mans 24-hour winner, starts on pole position for the final this afternoon as his father Jan watches on from the grandstand. The European world debut of the Lando Norris car for Ricky Flynn Motorsport. Their drive has certainly been in contention all week. They have been so quick here in freezing conditions at Lunato. Last week's WSK Champions Cup champion, Andreas Cardenas, in the 335 energy card, will start on the second row of the grid. And once again, they have not changed the setup, and he has been lightning quick all week here at Lunato. Mate Guadic, 317 for the RFM team in the Lando Norris cart. Also another contender for the final of round one of the WSK Super Masters Series here this afternoon. This championship, which dates back to 2010, as the carts go on to the circuit. We'll take a look at the grid for you in just a moment. Before we do, let's pay homage to some of the former series winners. Rashid Aldeheri last year in juniors, then it was Arvid Limblad in 2020. As you look at Rene Lamas in the centre right of your screen, just ahead of Enya Frey. Andrea Antonelli, who's here at the circuit, makes his way back from Dubai to be with us at Lonato. He won in 219. Ahead of Gabriela Mini. Before that, it was Mr. Red, Andrea Rosso. The mighty Moroccan Simi Taufik in 2016. Clement Novelak for the Tony Kart team in 2015. Prior to that was Enam Ahmed in the FA Kart for Ricky Flynn Motorsport. Alessio Lorandi in 2013. Callum, who is embarking on the IndyCar World Championship in 2022. Callum Islet winning in a Zanardi Kart in what was then KF3 in 2012. Antonio Fuoco, who as we speak is racing in the D Daytona 24-hour race. Antonio winning in 2011. And Nicholas Nielsen, also over in Daytona this weekend, won the first ever junior WSK Supermasters Series. Rene Lamas, second generation racer, his father Jan. Formula One career spanning 1979 to 1992. And also highlighted with victory in the 1988 Le Mans 24 hour race in that ferocious V12 power Jaguar. Well before Rene was born, lives just a few hundred metres for the Zandvoort circuit where Max took victory in the Dutch Grand Prix and celebrated with DJ Tiesto after he stood on the podium, Rene Lummers on pole position. 36 carts on the grid. Just a few moments prior to the start. The 17 lap, 20 kilometer final, round one of the WSK Supermaster Series for 2022. That's Alexander Bondarev, the Ukrainian, to the left of your screen in the LN Lando Norris cart for Ricky Flynn Motorsport. And Rene Lummers to the right. Past has qualified Dmitry Matviev for the Koski Motorsport team. Starts on the third row of the grid. The Russian driver for the Finnish team. And when they both tell you it's cold here in Italy, you know it's damn cold. Let's take a look at the grid. Rene Lamas is on pole position 339 for Paralin Motorsport. Alongside the Ukrainian Alexander Bondarev and Yafrey also for RFM. And last week's Champions Cup champion Andres Cardenas. Might be the fastest qualifier on Maciej Gwadis. Miguel Costa and the Filipino driver William Riley go. Nathan Ty on the podium last week starts out of nine. Adam Hidej out of ten is the Hungarian for DPK. Sixth row of the grid, Kirill Kutzkov. 
for the Birala team and then Lucas Flutza is alongside. Marcus Sata for the Ward Racing Team, Martin Molnar, and Natoli Kavalka, Thomas Stoltzmanis, watch the Latvian from Johannesburg in South Africa, Luviwe Sambudla and Alexander Bukunovic, Yannick Shirovsky, the former Belgian mini champion, Len Nice, Tom Callender for TB Racing, Zhang Konsani, the boy from Bangkok, Thailand, Enzo Tavadishkul, Frank Cotti, the Triple Three Viral Art, Newman Chi, Dowie Tadeka, Kian Fardin, Tigran Bunyatin, and from Lincolnshire in England, it's Lewis Werrell. Salim Hanu Hernandez, Outback Soy, the Glaswegian Zach Drummond, Tayam Saleh. Then we go to the Australian Lewis Francis. Great to see him in the field alongside the Israeli Guy Elbash. The most famous kart racing circuit in the world is this South Garda Karting. The sun is starting to set here in the north of Italy. Rene Lammers from Zandvoort in the Netherlands on pole position. The junior final, Lammers leads them up to the line and we race. Perfect start from Enya Frey from the second row of the grid. The Ricky Flynn Motorsport driver slots into second place, but Lammers leads in the Paralin. Dimitri Matfeb from fifth up into third, up into second as he makes the move under brakes into the pit hairpin and the Koski Motorsport Tony Kart goes through in position two. Lamas is gone. A fantastic lead after we've only raced a few hundred metres. Dimitri Matfeb up into second place. There's Mache going through. Miguel Costa on the charge is the Brazilian American. And we have to watch out for the energy card of last week's Champions Cup champion, the Peruvian Andreas Cardenas. Newman G, Lewis Werrell, and Tam Sala have all come together in the opening stages of the race. But look at the lead from Lamas. Dimitri in second place being attacked, being pushed down the straight by Alexander Bondarev, the lead Lando Norris card. Pushes the Koski Motorsport Tony Cut down through turn one. WRC style through that spectacular complex. As the RFM driver up the inside, it becomes the outside. Mark Fiv back to third. Kirill Kutskov, the ruthless racing Russian. The 334 Birol Arts up into fourth and a brilliant start from the Brit, Nathan Tai. Nathan on the podium in the WSK Champions Cup seven days ago. And we know the Soddy Cup will get better and better as the race goes on. Having said that, he's just been passed by another Russian, Anatoly Falcon. There's three of them in the top six, but the Dutchman leads. His name is Rene Lammers. The gap is 1.5 seconds. And it's Bondarev, Matfiv and Kutskov from Russia, Frey, and then Anatoly Falcon. Anatoly, who won the WSK Champions Cup in 60 Mini in 2020. In the 3-4-0, you'll get a glimpse of him in just a moment as they climb the hill. They're coming to fight, as well as Nathan Ty, Andreas Cardenas, Miguel Costa, and Marcus Sata. So Bondarev in 3-2-6, the Ricky Flynn Motorsport Lando Norris Kart. That's Dimitri from the Birol Arts of Kirill Kutskov. And your fray, Anatoly Kavalkin, will check the gap. 1.5 seconds last time between Rene Lammers and Alexander Bondarev. 1.4 as Bondarev goes purple and just pulls away. Look at them drift through turn one and two. They get airborne. The elevation is only, at best, 30 centimetres. But it's enough to make those carts so light, airborne, and for a brief split second, they have no steering. Just spectacular here at the center of the karting universe. This is South Garda Karting, host venue for round one and two of the 2022 WSK Supermaster Series, which is being led by last year's mini Supermaster Series champion, Rene Lummers. We'll check the gap this time. Bondarev, the Ukrainian for RFM, still trying to shake the Mithri Matfiev. There's Kutskov. We go back to Endia Frey, Nathan Tai. 1.3 seconds, another purple lap as the race settles down. They start lap five. The junior final as the sun starts to set, the temperature drops and the shadows from the enormous grandstand, which can be seen from the highway, starts to cover the start finish straight. Kutzkoff, Birol Art for 2022 in P4. 
Cart starting to litter the circuit. Dowie Tadeka is out, as is Newman Chi, who finished second in the Chinese driver seven days ago in the Champions Cup. Kian Fardin has also retired, along with Lewis Werrell. Zach, the Glaswegian's run has come to an end. And Tam Sala is also out as well. 1.3 seconds between Lamas and Bondarev. Last time round stays the same. Another purple lap for Bondarev. The RFM at Lando Norris cut is quick. Lando testing with us, taking part in official practice at Adria for the WSK Open Cup. Former WSK Euro Series champion is Lando Norris. Of course, the 2014 world champion with Ricky Flynn Motorsport. This new project between Ricky and Lando and the whole team, they put the card on the track. They tested at the WSK Collective Test two weeks ago. There's another one of their drivers going down through. And you're free. Unfortunately, Maciej Gwadic has fallen back through the pack. He's had a problem. And he's about to retire from the race. So it's the Paralin of Rene Lamas in P1. 1.3 seconds. Stays the gap. There's Nathan Ty. Look at the freight train between Nathan Ty. In your frame, Miguel Costa, last week's champion, Andreas Cardenas. His teammate, Thomas Stolchemanis, just in that battle as well as Miguel Costa makes the move, goes in very deep. May well be vulnerable on the exit to Lucas Flutzer as well from Mallorca in the middle of the Mediterranean. The third of the Flutzer siblings, older brother Lorenzo racing in the Asian F3 Championship this weekend. Younger sister Lunita here racing in OK Junior as well. Lucas inside the top 10 and their older sister Lisel Bell nervously watching on from Mallorca. Her brother fights with last year's, last week's Champions Cup champion, Andreas Cardenas. Nine tenths of a second though is now the gap between Rene Lamas. We have not yet passed half race distance. And the Ricky Flynn Motorsport Lando Norris cart is catching the Paralin. Dimitri Matviv in third. Then we go to Kutzkov, Ty Costa, and Lucas Futsa. There's Nathan going down the hill. Costa in 3 1 2 ahead of Lucas. This is the all-important start-finish straight. We will check the gap. It was 0.915. And this time round, 0.6. He has carved three-tenths of a second out of the Dutchman in the lead. Bondarev, the Ukrainian, is coming. He's catching him. There's Dimitri. The two Russians, third and fourth. And Nathan, third last week. The Nathan Ty Jr. in the Saudi card, he's P5 at the moment. Ahead of Flutza, Costa, Frey, Sata, and Andreas Cardenas. The Peruvian will not go two weeks in a row. The energy card has been quick, but there he is going down the hill. A place ahead of Adam Hidej, Thomas Solchamanis, William Go, and from South Africa, Lufiwe Sambudla. Half race distance, Rene Lamas, the gap was well over a second, down to nine tenths, down to six tenths. Stays at six tenths, maintains it this time. This is a nervous, nail-biting final. Last year's Champions Cup champion, Euro Series champion, and Super Master Series champion with Team Baby Race, but that was all in 60 Mini. At 25-odd horsepower and a ferocious level of competition and backing up in juniors, well, that's an all-new ask. But for the moment, Lamas is doing it. Seven laps remaining at the end of this one. There's Costa down through the chicane ahead of India Frey. So the attack from the Swiss driver is not eventuating this afternoon. Reno Francot, the triple three Birol Art, has also joined the list of retirements. Seven laps remaining. Five tenths of a second. Another purple lap for the Ricky Flynn Motorsport driver, Alexander Bondarev. 48-240. Confirmation at the bottom left of your screen. The Ukrainian, the Eastern European driver, is absolutely flying. There go the two Russians. Dmitry Matviev, fastest qualifier in the Champions Cup seven days ago. Fastest qualifier on Friday. For this, the first round of the Super Masters series, but he's unlikely to take victory again. The Koski Motorsport team 
the Vortex powered Tony Kart in P3. The Vortex powered Lando Norris Kart is in second, and they are both catching the TM powered Paralin. Good scoff in the Birrell Art P4. One step off the podium is Kirill Kutzkoff. Dimitri Matvieva, the 2020 WSK Supermaster Series champion. That was in 60 Mini. Rene Lamas took the title in Mini last year, as well. Rashid Aldeheri, the reigning junior champion, a new title or a new name will take the title in 2022. And it may well be one of the three drivers on your screen. The first of four rounds, the first of two being held here at Lonato, back here in two weeks' time. And then La Conca, Murulacese, the 6th of March, and a week after that at the foot of the volcano, which is Sano, Mount Vesuvius, on March 13. Four tenths of a second, fastest driver on the circuit is Enya Frey. Too little, too late for the 3-2-3 Lando Norris. Ricky Flynn Motorsport Kart, his teammate in P2. Here's Dowie to deck as abandoned cart. So the field have spread out. We'll have four laps remaining. As Andreas Cardenas behind his teammate Thomas Dolcemana, so the energy attack. They did win last week with the OKJ Energy Kinetic chassis, but at the moment it is the Paralin from the Lando Norris Kart running one and two, the new Tony Kart racer, newly homologated for 2022. Koski Motorsport in third place. Four laps remaining, the gap, four tenths of a second. Can Lummers hold on? Can Dimitri Matviev take a spectacular victory? The only way, surely, he can do that is if these two fight as it stands on pace. He's 1.3 seconds off the lead. If they come together, the Russian may well take victory. Dmitry Matviev, the 2020 Supermaster Series champion in Mini P3, driving the wheels off the Koski Motorsport Tony Kart. Bondarev closes in on the back of Rene Lummers into the final corner. Three laps now remaining. A spectacular shot as they race down the straight. Rene looks over his right shoulder. The gap is three tenths of a second. Bondarev has got him in his sights. Matviev sits there in P3 and Kutzkoff in four. Lucas Flutza from Mallorca in the middle of the Mediterranean. Lucas Flutza from Group 12 is now up into P5. This is going to be a nail-biting finish. Bondarev for Ricky Flynn Motorsport is right there. The RFM team watching on from pit lane, the crack world-class team behind Paralin Motorsport. Two laps remaining. Almost close enough to attack. The gap I don't need to tell you. You can see it's two card lengths. Good horsepower from the TM though of Rene Lummers as Bondarev just lets the Lando Norris cut drift over the turn one ripple strip. The penultimate lap of the junior final here at South Garda Karting. Bondarev is right there, closes up on the exit as Rene Lummers keeps the steering wheel of the 339 parallel straight, runs wide, gets the few extra engine RPM as they race down the hill. Through the chicane, Matviv trying as hard as he possibly can as Bondarev goes sideways through the chicane. Will that cost the Ukrainian a chance of victory? Into the last corner for the penultimate time. Do we dare break out the famous line? Dit is the last on there for the Kleine Pilot van the Netherlands. We've already had a Dutch victory this afternoon for Senna Van Wolstein in KZ2. A nail-biting finish. The gap is officially 0.3 of a second. Matfield back in third. The other Russian, Kutzkoff, in four. Rene Lamas looks over his right shoulder, watch him into the left-hander, flicks the wheel of the 339 parallel. They race down the hill. An opportunity into the chicane. He knows it. He puts the parallel in the middle of the circuit down through the chicane for the final time. Bondarev on the outside, Lamas covers his line, will white line it. On this, the penultimate corner. 
Bondarev around the outside almost runs into the back. Dutch driver. They touch. Bondarev has gone through. The Ukrainian wins in spectacular fashion on debut for Ricky Flynn Motorsport in the all-new Lando Norris kart. What a finish. Bondarev has taken victory. Lama second and Dmitry on the podium in third. Unbelievable scenes here at South Garda Karting. Bondarev has made contact with Lamas, or Lamas has made contact with Bondarev. That's not a judgment, that's not an observation, it's not a criticism. You saw it live on WSK.IT. We'll get to that in a moment as we look at the highlights of a spectacular junior final here this afternoon. Rene Lamas from pole position pulled away. The gap was 1.6 seconds early on in the race as the rest of the field fought. Miguel Costa, a good drive from the Brazilian to finish in P6, ultimately charging his way through the field. The battle for the lead on the outside came down to the final corner. They touched. Oh, wow, controversy here at Lonato. Bombardier takes victory for the Lando Norris car for Ricky Flynn Motorsport. Lummers, 0.07 of a second off the lead. He led from pole position right up to the final corner. And Dmitry Matviev, the final qualifier, the Russian, home in third place. Are the Ukrainians allowed to show emotion? We're about to find out because Alexander Bondarev has taken the first world victory for Ricky Flynn Motorsport in the Lando Norris kart on the very final corner of the junior final. The podium presentation for OK Junior live from Lonato in just a moment. A last lap move, and it has not paid off. There is a change to the order, to what we saw cross the line. Unfortunately, he crossed the line in position one, but Alexander Bondarev has not taken the victory. Post-race scrutineering, and the car has not complied. I'll be honest, the nose comes down. Rene has taken the victory. After leading from pole position, the Dutchman will stand on the top step of the podium alongside two Russians. We just wait for Rene, Dimitri and Kirill for the junior podium here this afternoon. A brilliant drive on debut for the Birol Art Racing Team in third place from Russia, Kirill Kutskov. Second place, the fastest qualifier for Koski Motorsport from Russia, Dmitry Matviev. <laughs> he led from pole position, a deserving victory, victor of the first round of the WSK Supermasters Series for Paralene Motorsport from the Netherlands, the winner of round one of the WSK Supermasters Series, Rene Lammers. <laughs> the national anthem of the Netherlands.
the podium for the OK Junior final. Third place from Russia, Kirill Kutskov. Second place also from Russia, the fastest qualified, Dmitry Matviv, the winner of round one of the Supermaster Series from the Netherlands, Rene Lovers. Spasiba, Kirill and Dmitry, let's step in for a quick word, if we can, with Rene Lummers. The trophy's almost as tall as you. Rene, how on earth did you do that? I didn't actually, basically, because he got a bumper. So I basically finished second, but because he got a bumper, I still finished first. So I was lucky with that. Congratulations, Rene Lamas. You are the championship leader coming back into the second round of the WSK Supermaster Series right here in two weeks' time. On behalf of all the staff here at South Garda Karting, everyone at WSK Promotion, look at that, the sun is shining here in the Italian winter. Thank you for watching us live on WSK.it. We'll see you right back here at the centre of the karting universe. South Garda Karting, Lonato, round two of the WSK Supermaster Series. We'll see you then.